Time for another of our 2020 Texas State football opponent previews. And today, it's the other Bobcats, the Ohio Bobcats, out of the Mid-American Conference with the Texas State Bobcats host in week four of the coming season. Taking a look at the Bobcats at a glance, Ohio has been a model for consistency among the group of five. Bowl appearances in 10 out of the last 11 seasons, a winning record in five straight seasons, and the Bobcats haven't suffered a losing season since 2008. 2019 was another in a long line of successful campaigns for head coach Frank Solich as Ohio overcame a 1-3 start to win seven games, including a win over Nevada in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, the third straight win in the season, and the third straight bowl victory for the Bobcats as well. Offensively, Ohio was led by veteran quarterback Nathan Rourke, a dual threat machine who was named first team all Mac by the end of the season and was good enough to become a second round pick in the CFL this past fall. With Wark now playing north of the border, that leaves a big gap in the game's most critical position. And Ohio also lost three all-conference offensive linemen to graduation as well. While there will be a number of new faces on the Bobcat offense, a familiar one they can turn to is running back O'Shawn Allison, who had a tremendous freshman season last year in Athens and is certainly a player to watch for Ohio in 2020. While the offense suffered a number of losses from last season, the Bobcat defense has several key players back, including four of the team's top five tacklers from 2019. Among those returners is defensive end Austin Conrad, who led Ohio in both sacks and tackles for loss last season. The defense for Ohio could be asked to do more this year to help counter an inexperienced offense in 2020. There's only been one battle of the Bobcats before, and it was arguably one of the craziest games in Texas State history. On opening day 2016, the Bobcats faced the Bobcats in Athens, Ohio, and things got a little weird at Peden Stadium. A game that lasted more than four and a half hours. They saw the two teams combine for nearly 1,200 yards of offense. That featured 10 lead changes. That went three overtimes, finally ended with Texas State pulling out an incredible 56-54 win over Ohio. This home and home series concludes in San Marcos at Bobcat Stadium with the Bobcats host the Bobcats on September 26 in San Marcos. For game day and ticket information, go online at txstatebobcats.com. Until next time, I'm Brand Freeman reminding you that the comeback is always greater than the setback.